Uh, in a shocking turn of events, the soccer ball has filed a restraining order against the players, citing excessive kicking. Lawyers say it's a clear case of abuse of spherical objects. Ah, the trials and tribulations of being the most sought-after entity on the pitch. Now, on to the latest in the world of soccer. The rumour mills are churning faster than a hamster on a caffeine high. Word on the street is, there's a new TV show in town, Thatch of the Day. It's the groundbreaking new satire show about soccer, where the only headers you'll see are the ones in the script. Recently, there was a controversy about the referee's decision in the last game. The referee, in a bid to avoid any bias, decided to wear a blindfold. The result? Let's just say, it was a game where the players might as well have been playing hide-and-seek. Ah, and who can forget the case of the missing soccer socks? One player was so superstitious about his lucky socks, he refused to play without them. After a frantic search that involved sniffer dogs and a psychic, they were found in his other sports bag. Talk about getting cold feet. But let's not forget the infamous goal that wasn't. The striker shot, the crowd held its breath, the ball hit the post, ricocheted onto the goalkeeper's head, bounced back into play, and the referee called it a goal. That's one for the books, folks, or perhaps for a comedy sketch. In the midst of all this chaos, there's one question that truly stands out. Can a soccer player play if he forgets his shorts at home? The answer, as one unfortunate player found out, is a resounding no, especially if the game is being televised. Now, to wrap up all the hilarity and absurdity, remember, soccer is a game where 22 men chase a ball for 90 minutes and at the end, the Germans always win or so the saying goes. But in the world of thatch of the day, it's more like 22 men, a ball, and a cavalcade of comedic mishaps that make us wonder if we're watching a sport or a sitcom. So whether it's goal line blunders, missing socks, or the existential crisis of a soccer ball, remember, in the world of soccer, the only thing you can predict is unpredictability. And a good laugh. See you on the pitch, folks. Or at least in front of your screens watching thatch of the day with your favorite host, Larry Ginnikar. Until then, keep the ball rolling, unless it's got a restraining order, of course. Ever wondered what happens when football meets fast food? Well, buckle up, because you're in for a tasty treat of a tale. Hi, this is Larry Ginnicker, and welcome to uh, uh, Thatch of the Day. We're diving into a story that's been sizzling hot off the grill this week, all the way from Saudi Arabia. Picture this Cristiano Ronaldo, football legend, walks into a McDonald's. He's there to try the latest addition to the menu, the vegan special, return of the Big Mac. But what should have been a simple meal quickly turns into a saucy spectacle. As Ronaldo bites into the Big Mac, a disaster strikes. Uh, a dollop of sauce slips from the burger and splatters on his top. A server um, witnessing the scene can't help but comment and with a quizzical look. It's uh, artist quietly a oh, messy. This is Larry Ginnikar, and you've been listening to Thatch of the Day. Until next time, keep your eyes on your balls and your burgers. Goodbye. <laughs>